got Kansas City, City on your on your arm. But I do. What, what would it mean to have a 49er ring on your finger, a Super Bowl ring? It would be a dream come true. It, I mean, I, everybody who plays and, and, and loves this game dreams about this Sunday. And and here I am, and I have an opportunity to do that. Speaking of here I am, when you walked in here and looked around and tried to soak it in, what, what did you think? It's unreal. I mean, this is, it's a dream. It's a, it's a dream come true for, for all of our players. For Regardless of how many times you go to a Super Bowl, it's always special. It's always a little different, and, you know, and you just, you appreciate everything that you have in that moment. You're almost at the finish line. I mean, it's it's right there. I mean, it, is it so close you can almost taste it? I mean, it, it, we still have a full, a full week in a way. You know, it's a little less than a week uh, of just normal, everyday grind, work. Uh, and, and Sunday will come when it comes, and, and we'll be ready. How do you handle the dynamic of being a female professional football coach trying to really be a, a symbol of, of something. Yeah, I mean, it, it, it's hard. It's a yeah. balancing act because you have to be visible. You have to show people that right. there are opportunities out there. But at the same time, I, I all I wanted to do was, was coach and was teach and was, you know, work with people. And, and this is what, you know, this is kind of what has to happen to break down those doors, and I'm, I'm happy to do it. Uh, but when it's not a headline, we will know we were successful. Last one for me. Away from the cameras, these microphones. Have you had a moment where you just said to yourself, "Holy expletive!" I'm a professional football coach. Every day. Yeah. I mean, it, it's and if you don't, if you don't do that, regardless of if you're a woman or a man, if you don't do that, you're not appreciating every day that you have. And I think that's what's true. Some, sometimes we look too far in the future and we forget to appreciate where we're at. And so I try to do that.